Oh my goodness, that might be one of the best things I've tasted. Lima is the culinary capital of South America. So in this video, we're sharing our favorite Peruvian foods that we ate while in Lima, Peru. The first stop on our food tour is an amazing restaurant in Lima's Barranco district. This is the perfect spot to pick up one of Peru's most famous dishes, ceviche. We're at Cantarena right now, and it seems like for every table they bring out unlimited crunch corn, which is actually really, really good. It kind of just tastes like popcorn that's not popped, so it's a little bit heavier, definitely a bit more of a crunch to it, but it's really addicting. So here we have some traditional Lima ceviche, which we're really excited to try. We tried ceviche in Chile already, but this is a little bit different. So in Chile, we had it with salmon, and here we have it with fish. Ceviche is essentially raw fish with lime juice to keep it preserved, as well as corn and I think sweet potato here, and some red onion. It's kind of funny, we got this recommendation based off a Lima vlog, and as we were driving an Uber over, our Uber driver said that, that this was his favorite place to go. So we know that it's a local favorite and we're excited to try it. So I'm going in for the first bite. Not gonna lie, it's a little scary just eating raw fish. Let's see. Mm, really good. And the fish is really soft. It's delicious. So one of the things we found incredibly interesting as we've been traveling some of these countries and having ceviche is the corn it comes with is typically gigantic. I don't know if you can see this, each kernel is massive. It's been really good, great texture. We actually asked one of our friends who's Chilean and they said that that's just the corn that comes with ceviche. We'll see how this one is. Mmm. Yeah, it almost sticky. Pops in your mouth when you eat it. Really nice texture on there. I actually like it. More bang for your bite, if you will. All right, I'm going for a fish bite. They're definitely big size chunks. Oh, I see why everyone loves this. It's delightfully acidic with that wine flavor in there, and the texture of the raw fish is so light and delicate. That's really good food. And I guess when I compare it to the ceviche we had in Chile, which was made with salmon, I think I like the salmon bites better because the salmon just gave that little extra punch of flavor. But from a broth and a brine perspective, the limes and the onions on this one, absolutely top notch. This is grade A ceviche. Our next stop on the food tour takes us to Barrio Chino, Lima's Chinatown. This is a busy cultural district in Lima with some fantastic restaurants serving classic Peruvian meals. We stopped in to try a classic Peruvian dish, chofa. So we are in Chinatown in Lima right now and it's actually really interesting. There is a lot of Chinese influence on the food culture here because there were a lot of Chinese immigrants that came over starting in the 1850s. What we have here is chofa, which is a fried rice dish. It's typically fried up with some meat, but we went with the veggies just to be a little safe. And then we also have some delicious fried wontons, which has been easing our hunger a little bit because we've been walking around all day with nothing in our bellies. So we're really excited to try this. Chofa is a fried rice dish and it has some Peruvian influence as well as Chinese influence. So it's kind of cool to see the two cultures mix here. The restaurant we're at is called Chifa Lo Walk. It's in the middle of Chinatown and I've had pretty good reviews. So we're looking forward to this. So we're having the first bites of chaufa here. Never had this before. Mm. That's really nice. I feel like a lot of times fried rice is overpowered with soy sauce. I don't know if there's any soy sauce in here. It's got a different spice palette. I don't know if I could tell you where it comes from, but it's really nice. Let me get a mushroom bite here. Mm. They're soft, but really hearty. Almost gives it like a meaty ness to it. I like it a lot. I can see the Chinese influence, but it definitely has that Peruvian twist. And we have mountains of food. We actually ordered just one plate of chalfa and then a small side of wontons and both of them came out double the size we were expecting. So we have a lot of eating to do here. Somehow we finished it all. Next, we're heading over to Lima's popular Miraflores district to check out the Mercados that this area is known for. For this first Mercado, we're trying the iconic purple drink that is served everywhere in Peru, Chicha Morada. We are in the San Ramon Mercado, and this place is so lively. There's a zillion different restaurants, so many choices. We ended up going with the drink we've been seeing everywhere during our stay in Peru. We've seen tons of locals drinking this. It's called Chica Morada, and it's made of the purple corn grown right here in Peru. So we haven't tried this yet. I have no idea what it's gonna taste like. Here we go. Hmm. 
That's interesting. It almost has like a cinnamony taste. Definitely doesn't taste like corn, but yeah, it's flat. It's non-carbonated. It's pretty good. All right, I'm gonna go in for my first sip. Wow, yeah, it is cinnamony. It's sweet, but it's not like a bunch of sugar was dumped in there. It's almost like a cinnamony, spicy sweet. It's really interesting. I guess I was kind of expecting grape juice, but it's much different than that. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know if it would pair well with the things we've seen it sold with. Like yesterday we saw everybody was drinking it with their Chinese food whenever we were out to eat, eating chofa. I don't think this would pair well together, but gotta do what the locals do, I guess. We're sitting in the park and we can see across the way another place selling the purple drink and we've learned that we misspelled that and most likely mispronounced it. We think it's chicha rada. If we're still butchering that, please let us know in the comments below. The next stop on our food tour is also in Miraflores. And in addition to having a great atmosphere, might have had the most historic Peruvian food we tried in Lima. So we're at the Mercado San Martin right now. We went to the Mercado San Ramen earlier today. And I will say some of the food here is actually appealing to me way more than the food there. That's probably just a personal preference, but every stall here looks amazing. And honestly, I wish I could try it all. We are in Mercado, we are in Mercado, Mercado. Mercado. You say potato, I say Mercado. We are in Mercado San Martin and we ordered an authentic Peruvian dish. It's actually from before the Spaniards even showed up. So this is an ancient Peruvian dish. It's called Casa Vegetariano and it looks unbelievable. The base layer we think is made out of potato salad. They actually smush into potato patties and sandwiched between that is avocado and a spicy mayonnaise. And then it's actually filled with an assortment of vegetables. So it looks like we got peppers here, tomato, peas, cucumber, and there's a couple other in here that I actually have no idea what they are, but it looks absolutely amazing and I can't wait to dive into this. So I'm going for the first bite. I barely even know where to start with this thing, but we're gonna go for a side layer. Mm. Holy cow, that sauce. It's almost like a spicy mayonnaise you might find on a sushi, but it's so smooth. The texture of the potato with the avocado is so creamy. Oh my goodness, that might be one of the best things I've tasted. So the portions at all the stalls here seem pretty darn massive, and you know it's a good time when they give you two forks for a single entree. Yeah, we usually share food anyway, so it's always nice whenever we actually have two forks to use. All right, so we grabbed some coffee off the streets of Lima. It's kind of cool because we were told this coffee was from the Amazon, which is very appropriate being in Peru. And we've been really enjoying South American coffee so far. This is about 850 souls, I believe, which is a pretty good deal for a cup of coffee. And we just got the Americano to keep it simple and cheap. Mmm. It's really smooth. Normally in general, we tend to drink our coffee with cream, but we found in South America, we're not actually craving cream just because everything is so smooth and less bitter, much more so than American coffee. It's really good. While we were walking, we also found a small little shop that was selling fresh baked croissants. We could see them baking in the back for about 150 soles, which when you see a buttery warm croissant sitting there in the window for 150, you, uh, you have to take it. So we're excited to pair these with the coffee as well. Mmm. Very buttery and actually a little bit of sweetness to it. It's a good croissant. Another spot we loved while in Lima was Bezos Creperia. Being located on the beautiful Miraflores walkway, this restaurant had some of the best views and enjoyable atmospheres we've ever seen. We just got ourselves a crepe from Bezos Francis Creperia, and they're pretty interesting. I've never seen a crepe rolled into a cone before, but this seems like a pretty effective way to eat it. And it's really cute because Beso means kiss in Spanish, and it even comes with a cute little kiss on there. We went with a vanilla ice cream brownie and Mancar flavor in there. So Mancar we first had when we were in Chile. It's almost like a smoother, creamier caramel. So in a first bite here. Oh, that's delightful. You can already tell the caramelness of the Mancar's mixed with the vanilla on there. Mm, that's delicious. I'm gonna go for a little uh, great pinch. Mm. It's not an overly sweet crepe. It's actually a really buttery crepe, I'd say. Not overly sweet, so the sweetness comes from the ice cream itself and the, the toppings. That's delicious. And the view makes it taste that much better. All right, I'm trying the, the kiss here. I'm a little scared it's all waxed.
pretty waxy. <laughs> I don't know if you're supposed to eat that. <laughs> Look like, like an animal. I know. <laughs> Our next food tour stop takes us to one of our favorite spots in Lima, Kennedy Park. So we're in Kennedy Park right now. This place is famous for all of the cats that run around and just live here. And they're all really nice and sweet, but another thing that's sweet here is the churros. So we got a churro with mancar, which is our new favorite caramel. It's not overly sweet, but it's just super smooth and delicious. One of our Chilean friends actually introduced us to it. And we've been seeing churros everywhere and we've been craving them ever since. So we're excited to try this out. Mm. It's really good. The, the mancar is hot. And I don't think we've had hot long carb before. It's so smooth, delicious fried goodness, and actually chewier than I expected here. It's really good. I don't think you can put a price on how cute this is, Courtney. <laughs> Dinner and a show, huh? And the last spot on our Lima food tour is another scenic spot in the Miraflores district and also sport some fantastic views. So to end our Lima food tour, we're at the Larcabar mall and this mall is really cool because it's actually built into a cliff and we got something that is not necessarily peruvian but it is delicious and that's just ice cream and we're taking in the sunset on our last day in peru and just enjoying it so in addition to the natural beauty being absolutely gorgeous it's really cool because you can actually see the people surfing down below and occasionally you'll get people flying through the sky on giant wind kites they take off down the road in miraflores by the lighthouse and actually fly over the mall itself so I can't think of a better spot to enjoy this ice cream. We got coffee and we got brownie macchiato. Gotta say, I'm pretty happy with our choice. Let us know in the comments below if there are any other amazing Peruvian foods we missed. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more travel content from us. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Want another one? Mm -hmm. Come on, hop. <laughs> <laughs> Good though. One other bite, I'm gonna go get you another one. Crap. I'll have another bite. Come in, huh? Big bite. I'm still looking. Mm. I know, it's good.